I have to say thank you for the massive hospitality. It's been pleasure. amazing, amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> happy yeah, to see you here. I'm happy to you can visit. Oh, of course, of course. I mean, you know, I said in the intro actually. If you're if you you're in Cambodia and if you're in Myanmar and don't visit Dave Le Dug in <laughs> Cambodia, it's like going to the party and not dancing or drinking. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm happy. Yes, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, something I want to ask is, of course, our guys are fighting. Yeah. Today is fighting tonight, right? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna live stream it tonight. We're gonna watch. We're gonna I, I, I saw it. Yeah, yeah I yeah. saw it. And then we have uh, Souls fighting uh, soon. So then, Ooh and uh, Tanzin uh, on Love Fight recently. And, uh -huh. and so yeah, it's a lot of action happening right now. Unfortunately, it's it's not in too late way. You know, that's the <laughs> that's the thing that makes me a little bit sad is that. Um, like you see, we were looking at the belts. We were looking at like we made a lot of progress, you know, Japan, America, oh, yeah. and then uh, what makes me a little bit sad right now is that all the the, the Myanmar guys have to go compete in Muay Thai, you know. Yeah. So uh, I'm happy uh, that you know one championship is able to give them an opportunity to compete. Um, but you know, if you look at all the the progress we've made, you know, bring Litwe in in, um, in Japan, bring Litwe in America. The growth was really, really rapid. In it only was. a few years, was, people yeah. around the world were so excited to go to, to come to Myanmar to train Litwe. You yeah, know? yeah, I noticed that too. Yeah. Yeah. So, I really realized that Litwe was gonna put Myanmar on the map. You know, because when I started in uh, 2016, a lot of my people, my friends, and and people I knew in Canada, I said I'm I'm fighting in Myanmar. They didn't even know where it was. They didn't know it was a country. They said, which country is it? Is it uh, insulting? <laughs> you know, you, you're, you're from there, right? Uh -huh. And it's like, I exist, right? I exist. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So for me, it was, it was a big shock when I, real, I came to Myanmar, the golden land with the Shredagon Pagoda and the, all the, you know, the, the, a beautiful culture and, and Myanmar lit way, so rich. And in, 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 uh, in, in I, I thought to myself, 55 million people that are kind of forgotten, you know? And oh, it pissed me yeah. off. And I said, I, I, and then I, I got, I won and I got accepted very warmly, like the word, you know, Minglawa means, uh -huh. I warmly welcome. So I got accepted warmly by Myanmar. And I said to myself, I will give, I will do my best to put the spotlight on, on Myanmar, you know. So that's why I dedicated my life to, to Myanmar Lewe. And I knew that if we ride, if we, 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 uh, we elevate Lewe uh, high enough, People they're gonna want to visit similar to what happened in Thailand, Thailand yeah. exactly. So uh, the economy is better, but now we got hit with uh, COVID and the situation oh, uh, that's happening yeah. right now. It's just so sad. It's so sad. Yeah. Yeah, going back. So to, yeah, yes, exactly. Uh, uh, going back to the fighters. Um, actually, you know what? I I, I knew I knew you, uh, you you were gonna have some sort of. This, a, little, a little bit of dissatisfaction, let's say, mm -hmm. that the, 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 the yeah. Myanmar fighters are now competing in one. But they don't it, have it's good for, Financially, have, it's yeah. good for them. Yeah. But yeah. What else, I, what else I, can you do right now, right? There's not, there's not a lot of fights happening. There's no international fight happening. It's very hard. Wow, it's very hard, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> it's, it's a shame, and we don't know how long it's going to last. You know, that's the, that's the, that's the, the, the sad part. So I'm, I'm, I'm urging. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it is. How do you see the fights going, though? Um, we we do we do we, mm -hmm. do we do, you know them I mean yeah so Tui is is, uh, is the current Myanmar champion in yes. open weight uh, he's a lighter weight uh, uh -huh. you know he, he actually did very well against Tumin. Um so yeah, he's very yeah. skilled actually very... I, I watched the second fight okay, okay. Yeah, okay yeah I went live I, yeah. I mean I watched it live yeah I think he's a great fighter. Um, and uh, I think he can do pretty well because he's he's more technical. He's not uh, like uh, I think his power is to is to hit at timing that you don't expect because he's not the power puncher like the two minutes a power puncher. You he know? is. He so let's it's gonna be an interesting fight to see. Yeah, I think uh, I respect him. I think he's good. Um, but yeah, so so it reminds me a little bit of uh, you know back in the days uh, for those who know uh, Saga Man Sean Shark. Yeah. So yeah. he was the open weight champion at eighty kilograms and he got challenged by Tuema Shong. Yeah, right, Thomas yes. was sixty-five kilogram, right? sixty-seven. <laughs> so big, big, because he's a warrior, right? I mean, yeah, and yeah. he challenged, and he did a draw against Shaw Sharp. So that's the beauty of Yama you know, Like in open weight, you can challenge for the crown because the, the you have people often confuse that there's no weight class in lightweight, but there is. There's weight class, you know, all oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. way to yeah. eighty, right? All uh, the way to uh, open weight. KG. Exactly. And uh, you can challenge for the open weight crown because the, oh, wow. the open weight champion is the best in lightweight. 
So you basically can be the undisputed exactly. champion. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. now the undisputed title is thrown around like well, yeah, exactly. in UFC and one as well. You you want the title and you're undisputed champion. What what does it mean? Mm. It's just an extra word, I think. It doesn't have any true say, maybe not significance, but yeah. any meaningful addition, right? Yeah. You ju you're just the champion. Mm -hmm. And just be, in boxing, it, it makes sense to me. You have, mm -hmm. There are four belts. I'm a boxing fan, so yeah, yeah, <laughs> I know yeah. a lot about boxing that I'm more about, I should say. Okay. Uh, four belts, if you want uh, two, it's a unified. Three, yeah. unified, four, undisputed. That makes sense. But makes sense, one, yeah. and you have Z, they call every champion undisputed, so. Yeah, in their own promotion. It's a bit confusing, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good point. Good point. So yeah, to, to come back to uh, to Leway, it's gonna be an interesting. Uh, I'm, in one part, I'm sad that we cannot compete in Leway. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, I'm happy to see the success of the guys uh, to show that the you know they're in in a different martial art they're able to succeed because a lot of people that that are multi fighters that go into Myanmar Leway, they did not do very well. You know, a lot of foreigners come in and they get knocked out, they get hurt, they get cut because of bare knuckle. Uh -huh. and, so. And the headbutt. Yeah, exactly, exactly. A lot of Thai champions come into Myanmar and they get they get hurt because of that. So for me, it was it's nice to see Solin O, for example, uh, doing very well under Muay Thai rules, you know, with his little skills. Even Veronica, Vero, Veronica, Vero, yeah, yeah. Vero also she's a, she's a trained in Myanmar now. They're, what? Yeah. Was she a lightweight fighter? I'm yeah, that's what I'm saying. She's a Burmese lightweight fighter. She competed. We uh, when I fought with Tutu, she fought that same night as me. Oh, on the same card. Yeah, yeah, yeah same card. Oh, yeah, so uh, I see. No, not to do it was against Cyrus Washington. Yeah, she uh, she fought. Uh, so so now she's a Tiger Muay Thai in Phuket, but she's a mm -hmm. you know she's a little bit fighter. She, oh, wow! Uh, yeah. I so, thought she only did boxing. No, she did little. Oh yeah. wow! Yeah, yeah. She fought in Tokyo also in the same card as me. She fought in Japan and then Oh, I thought I knew yeah. a lot about her. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you know we, that's why that's why uh, she she has a strong and strong hands also. So she's tough. Uh, yeah. she, but now she's like number one or number. She's in the top of Muay Thai. She, she's basically the queen of Muay Thai here. Exactly. Yeah. Imagine, you know. So Amazing. we should be proud, and a lot of Myanmar people don't know that, you know. And so. Yeah. yeah. How how different are Muay Thai and the way though? Except for the headbutt. Yeah. Well, I think it's 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 extremely different. Actually, we cannot even we can, we have to talk about the headbutts because when you're doing the clinch, right? Mm -hmm. If in Muay Thai, I cannot do the headbutt, so I'm not afraid of doing this. Okay. But now this I'm I'm safe in in Muay Thai, but in Lithuania I'm not. Oh, of course. So if you want to be safe in Muay Thai in uh, in Lithuania, I can I have to put my hand here, right? So if you headbutt me, I I'm my head my hand's gonna block me. So I have to lose a limb, lose a hand, to protect uh -huh. myself, which completely reduce. You can if I if I put my hand on your head, I cannot do uppercuts. I cannot use. I cannot do anything. I have to protect. So oh. let the clinch is. It's completely different. It's minus one. Yeah, minus one. Oh, yeah. Wow, I so see. So it changes the game completely. And that's why a lot of uh, Thai fighters, Thai champions, they go into the clinch in, in, uh, in Latvia. They don't, they think, ah, it's, the headbutts is not a big difference. But then they get, you know, we, see, we saw a video, a very famous video, you can maybe put it, is um, uh, 2T. It's very, it's really, really nice. But so, so this is very important. Also, the fact that when you have a big difference as well is two, uh, Muay Thai fighters, they they're gonna punch, jab a lot in the face, and they, they get comfortable getting touched. Mm -hmm. You know, in boxing, same thing. You get comfortable just right. touching, touching. Yeah. But if you do that in Lithuania, you get gonna get cut with the bare knuckles. Exactly. Right? Oh. So you become lazier in with gloves, and you become more. Um, yeah, you become more uh, nonchalant with, nonchalant, with yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's very dangerous.